Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video today talking about some basic bass drum pedal technique. Uh, this is mainly for my students. It's a companion video to our lessons, but I think it's valuable information for everybody, so I'm putting it out there for everyone to check out. What we're talking about today is not burying the bass drum beater into the head. So if you don't know what I mean by that, burying the beater is when you play a note on the bass drum, usually with the heel up, and then you leave the beater on the head right after the stroke, like this. It's a common way to play, I see it all the time, and on certain drums, maybe with certain tunings that are very muffled, it works okay, but I specifically chose these drums today because this drum has such an open resonant tuning, you're really going to be able to hear the difference of what I'm talking about. So I uh, grew up playing this way. I played heel up and I buried the beater pretty much all the time. It wasn't until when I was younger and I had my first real experience in the recording studio. You know, they put the mic up in the drum. It's right there. You're under the microscope and you're not going to hide any flaws in your playing. So I recorded my track and we're listening to the bass drum channel and we're hearing a slight a flutter on every note of the bass drum and what that was coming from was playing with my heel down burying the beater there's a slight when you hit it and the head comes back and then comes back to the beater so you're getting a little bit of this every single note and in a live situation that's not going to be an issue when you're in the studio, there's nowhere to hide from that stuff, and you're going to hear all of those flaws. And I really distinctly remember the engineer kind of calling me over and soloing the bass drum channel and like, hey, check this out. What do you think that is? And I kind of came to the realization that that's what was happening. And, you know, I got through the session that day somehow, but pretty much immediately came home and decided I needed to revamp my bass drum pedal technique. So I continue to still play heel up. I play both heel up and heel down. But uh, when I'm playing heel up, I went through a really actually kind of grueling process of really relearning my whole bass drum pedal technique. And so that's why I'm trying to hip you guys to this now so that you just learn it right the first time and don't have to go through this. But basically, I had to relearn playing a heel up stroke and then I think of it as a follow through where my heel comes down and it lets the beater come off of the head. So like I said, the primary reason for this is the sound you're gonna get. Um, if you're playing a drum like this, you really hear the difference and to me, it's the same as uh, playing a snare drum or a tom with a stick and you leave the stick on the head when you hit the drum, it's going to sound terrible. You're not going to get the right kind of sound that you're wanting to get. And it's no different on the bass drum. The only possible difference that people could get away with it is that um, with so many pillows and things, you're not really hearing that difference of the resonance of the drum because the bass drum is so dead to begin with. But like I said, microphones are going to pick that up. So just a quick demonstration of what I consider to be the best way to play the bass drum and get the best sound. So anyway, I hope that makes sense and I hope it helps. If you're a guy who's burying the beater, I would encourage you to investigate this way of playing. Anything, any song you're playing, just go through and break it down slow, redo your technique, and be really mindful to let that beater come back off of the head after every stroke. No different than any other drum. And I think that putting in that time to do it the right way, it's going to greatly benefit your playing in the long run. You're going to have a better sound and an easier time playing. So that's my bass drum tip, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.